We love royalty on this channel, right? So let's talk about one of the most unique noble titles ever. That being the official title of the Habsburg monarchs, but in particular Franz Joseph himself. Most know him as the old emperor of Austria and king of Hungary, and truly those two titles were used most often. But to further demonstrate the grandeur of the Habsburg monarch, there exists a grand title for the emperor of Austria. It goes, His Imperial and Royal Apostolic Majesty. By the grace of God, Emperor of Austria, King of Hungary, Bohemia, Dalmatia, Croatia, Slavonia, Galicia, Lodomeria and Illyria, King of Jerusalem, etc. The Archduke of Austria, Grand Duke of Tuscany and Krakow, Duke of Lorraine, Salzburg, Styria, Carinthia, Carniola and Bukovina, the Grand Prince of Transylvania, the Margrave of Moravia, the Duke of Upper and Lower Silesia, of Modena, Parma, Piacenza and Vastala, of Auschwitz and Zator, of Teschen, Frial, Ragusa and Zara, Princely Count of Habsburg and Tyrol, of Kyberg, Goritz and Gradushka, Prince of Trento and Brixen, Margrave of Upper and Lower Lusatia and Denistria, the Count of Monems, Feldkirch, Bregenz, Sonnenberg, etc., the Lord of Trieste, of Katara, and on the Windig March, the Grand Voivod of the Voivodship of Serbia, etc., etc. That was a mouthful. To be more precise, 51 titles in total, one empire, nine kingdoms, one archduchy, two grand duchies, 18 duchies, one grand principality, Four Margraviates, five princely counties, two principalities, four counties, three lordships, and one grand lordship. The Empire of Austria was made the primary title of the Habsburgs after the whole Roman Empire was dissolved in 1806 during Napoleonic Wars. Kingdoms of Hungary and Bohemia were two separate kingdoms who just happened to share the same ruler for a while. Eventually, Ferdinand Habsburg was elected to rule both. Kingdom of Dalmatia was added after the Treaty of Campo Formio when Venice was raised from the map and its Dalmatian holdings were given to Austria. The Kingdom of Croatia was a part of Hungary since 1102, when it was conquered by King Stephen II. It was passed on to the Habsburgs with Hungary and Bohemia. Kingdom of Slavonia was created in 1490 by Vladislav II of Hungary and added to his titles, passed on to Ferdinand Habsburg when he inherited Hungary. Kingdoms of Galicia and Ludomeria were created from lands taken during the First Partition of Poland. Kingdom of Illyria roughly corresponded to the Kingdom of Dalmatia, but the title was created nevertheless after annexing French Illyrian provinces in 1815. The Kingdom of Jerusalem is a little more complicated to explain, since they never actually ruled over their territory. Well, King Charles I of Naples had bought the title from Mary of Antioch, a descendant of the Jerusalem royal family. From then on, the kings of Naples also claimed Jerusalem, and when the King of Aragon, Alfonso V, usurped Naples, the claim passed to the future kings of Spain. All kings of Spain will be kings of Jerusalem as well, no matter their dynasty. So when the Habsburg dynasty became kings of Spain, they inherited that claim as well. The Spanish Habsburgs eventually went extinct, but the Austrian branch had no problem with claiming Jerusalem for themselves. The Archduchy of Austria was the main fief of the Habsburgs since the 1200s. It was a duchy at first, but was elevated to an archduchy in 1453 by Emperor Frederick III. Grand Duchy of Tuscany was given in exchange for the Duchy of Lorraine during the War of the Polish Succession. The Grand Duchy of Krakow was created when the Free City of Krakow was incorporated into the Habsburg domain after an uprising in 1846. The Duchy of Lorraine passed from Francis I, Holy Roman Emperor and Duke of Lorraine, who was also husband to Maria Theresia. Even though they gave up ownership over Lorraine, they kept the title because why not? The Duchy of Salzburg used to be a prince bishopric, but was secularized and annexed by Austria. The Duchy of Styria was a fief given to a junior branch of the family during the 13th century. Eventually, that junior branch became the only branch. Styria was incorporated into the official title. The Duchy of Carinthia was given to the Habsburg by Holy Roman Emperor Ludwig IV. The Duchy of Carniola was also given to the Habsburg by Ludwig IV, but not as a duchy. It was elevated to a duchy in 1364. The Duchy of Bukovina was created from the northern parts of Moldavia, which they conquered in 1775. The Grand Principality of Transylvania was a historical part of Hungary, conquered by the Ottomans in the 16th century. When the Habsburgs reconquered it in 1711, they made it into a principality, and in 1765 into a Grand Principality. The Margraviate of Moravia was a historical part of Bohemia, and it passed along with the Bohemian crown. The duchies of Upper and Lower Silesia were remnants of the Silesian holdings, most of which were annexed by Prussia in 1745. The Duchy of Modena was originally ruled by the Italian House of Este. When that house ran out of males, the title passed to the Habsburgs, since the last duke's daughter was married to the son of Maria Theresia. The duchies of Parma, Piacenza and Guastalla were acquired by Holy Roman Emperor Charles VI after the War of the Polish Succession, but lost only ten years later after the War of the Austrian Succession. These duchies were later given to Napoleon's second wife, Mary Louise Habsburg, until her death. The duchies of Auschwitz and Zator were acquired during the first partition of Poland. The duchy of Teschen was one of the rare Silesian provinces Prussia didn't take. The duchy of Friuli was a title created specifically to strengthen the Habsburg claim onto a province they didn't own. 
The title was created in the 16th century, but Friuli only entered Austrian domain after the dissolution of Venice in 1797. The Duchy of Ragusa was better known as Dubrovnik, and it was never really a duchy. It was actually a republic since the Middle Ages, but when the Habsburg acquired Dalmatia, which Dubrovnik was a part of, they made it into a duchy. The Duchy of Zara was created from another coastal city, taken from Venice in 1797. The princely county of Habsburg was the OG fiefdom of the Habsburgs, a castle in Switzerland they lost in 1415. The princely county of Tyrol was a county conquered by Rudolf IV in 1363. The princely county of Kyberg was essentially given to Austria after its native dynasty died out, then it was given to some other minor houses, bought by Zurich in 1424, returned to Austria in 1442, in exchange for a hefty loan, which the Habsburgs never really paid, and the county was incorporated into Switzerland in 1452. Of course, not only the land didn't stop the Habsburgs from claiming it. The princely counties of Gorica and Gradushka were both taken by the Habsburgs after their respective dynasties died out, Gorica in 1500 and Gradushka in 1647. The Principality of Trent was annexed by Tyrol in 1300, and it became a Habsburg crown land when Tyrol was conquered. The Principality of Brixen was originally a prince bishopric. It was secularized and annexed by the Habsburgs in 1803. The Margraviates of Upro and Lower Lusatia were parts of Bohemia and by extension Austria. In 1635 they were ceded to Saxony. Habsburgs controlled parts of Istria since the 14th century, but once they got the Venetian portion in 1797, they put them all together into one province, called the Margraviate of Istria. Counties of Hohenems, Feldkirch and Bregenz were all acquired after their respective dynasties died out. The county of Sonnenberg was annexed by Austria in 1511. The Lordship of Trieste was created when the Venetians renounced their claim to the city in 1381, and the citizen chose the Habsburg to be their new ruler. The Bay of Kotor, or Cataro in Italian, was a Venetian holding until 1797, when it was taken by Austria and created into a lordship. The lordship of the Munich March was basically the same as Carniola, only under a different name. The Grand Voivodship of Serbia was created in 1849 as a reward to the Serbs, since they helped in subduing the Hungarian Revolution of 1848. This was also in accordance with the special rights Serbs got in 1691 from Emperor Leopold. It was abolished in 1860. I will also remind you that the expression etc. is used four times in this title listing, meaning that there are still more titles that aren't mentioned. So if you're ever feeling humble, just remember the house will be much more humble than you could ever be.